What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. And tonight we did get a big surprise. About an hour, hour and a half ago, the Ground War 32 versus 32 was was released. Now this was not supposed to come out until tomorrow, the 21st, but they did go ahead and, go ahead and release this tonight. Of course, the, the beta is now open for everyone, PC, Xbox, PS4. So if you have not downloaded it yet, definitely download it. Hop on, give it a try. And I have played about three to four games of Ground War, and I can definitely say it was a blast. It is just crazy fun to play this. And, of course, I've been a long-time Call of Duty player, as you guys know, if you've been a, a you know viewer of the channel here for a while. I've played every COD title made, and I've played every Battlefield title made. Now, there's a lot of people out there that think I'm crazy because I like both the uh, both of the games, but I've always liked both of the games for the different things they offer. Now, over the last few years, Battlefield, uh, Battlefield has been disappointing in some ways, and when I heard that they were going to do a 32 versus 32 mode for Call of Duty, I was really looking forward to seeing this. It just gives us something else to play when the game is released. You won't only have 6v6 you know, with your regular mode. You'll have 10v10, 20v20, and now a 32 versus 32 mode on an absolutely massive map. And this was an absolute blast to play. I've played about three to four games so far and had a ton of fun. Played in the crossplay lobbies. I've been enjoying the crossplay all weekend so far. Or, you know, the last, uh, yesterday and today since the beta has been out, crossplay has been a blast to play. And I was in a lobby here with several PC players, PS4, console, you know, all consoles, Xbox. Um, and it was just a, a, a really good time. Not a little big problem with lag, in my opinion. I was surprised at that. I wanted to see how the game would play out, you know, with that many people on such a huge map with so much stuff going on. Also, I, I was kind of curious how kill streaks would work. Would they be, you know, kind of too overpowered? And the map is so large, uh, like if you called in, let's just say for an example, the VTOL or a chopper gunner, so many people are running tubes, you know, they have different kind of tubes in the game, or, you know, you can shoot tanks and things with. Also, a lot of people are shooting down UAV, shooting down, you know, all of the kill streaks. But the map is so large, it's hard to get around the map and just kill everybody with a kill streak, if that makes sense. You know, your kill streak is going to be in that one certain area, a little small, tiny portion. And there's so much more of the map going on with the players running around. The other thing that I was kind of curious about was how the vehicles would work. There's tanks, helicopters, jeeps, uh, kind of some support vehicles that you can carry many players around in, but also do damage. And they can get blown up very easily. It's not like would think of if, if you are a, a Call of Duty fan that had played Battlefield in the past, and you know how the tanks were hard to blow up by, by yourself or anything like that. Most of the tanks and things are getting wiped out pretty quickly, which I see as a good thing, especially for Call of Duty fans who are not used to playing things they know with a large map with a lot of vehicles and things of that nature. Overall, it was an absolute blast. I had so much fun playing. I can't wait to get back in and play some more uh, Ground War. I'm really looking forward to see what kind of they do with this. Um, I'm looking forward to see what the Battlefield community also thinks of it. Uh, Battlefield, like I said, over the last few years has kind of been disappointing. Uh, I know a lot of the community has been disappointed with it. This may give the Battlefield community something to play, something to hop in and try out. Uh, and, and I just like it because it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It's the, you know, the size and the, you know, the vehicle and the kind of just the idea of what Battlefield's Conquest brings, but with the Call of Duty twist to it. So it is a blast to play and I really, really have enjoyed it. So if you guys have not tried it yet, definitely hop in and look and give it a look, see what you think. But like I said, I'm just curious to see how it goes when the game is released. This game has a lot of modes. I'm not sure how they're going to make so many maps for all of these modes. In a mode this large, you're going to have to have just dedicated maps that are made for, uh, uh, you know, a a game mode this size. So, uh, to me, as long as they can get, I would say, between three to five maps within the first few months of the game being released for this large mode, I think that would be really good. Because if they only have like one or two maps, and that's all you get for a long period of time, I do think the people that want to play this type of mode only will, would maybe get kind of bored of just, you know, playing one or two maps. So hopefully they'll be able to, you know, give us a good bit of map selection. Just not for this mode, but just kind of within the game overall because we have so many different types of modes we can play. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you played Ground War yet. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.